has blinded people that you will never see the truth and be saved. But if only you saw the truth, the truth, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to me but to the Father, but through me. You have to pass through him. Religion will never save you. Religion will never save you. Let me tell you, as a matter of fact, almost all religion, not almost all religions, they have nothing to offer when it comes to salvation. Jesus didn't bring religion. Jesus was not a member of a certain church. Did you hear him saying, I'm a member of this church or that church? No. And even when Jesus was leaving, he told us, go preach the gospel to the whole world. He didn't tell you to sit in a certain church. He told you, go and preach the gospel to the whole world that people would hear the truth. My friends, this is the time that you can be redeemed. This is the time that you can be saved. Change your ways. Be peaceful with God. Because the peace of God, the peace of God is greater than everything that you have ever imagined. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound mind. That we can think straight. We can see the end times approaching. God has given us eyes to discern, to see the end of days coming. And most people cannot look. Jesus said they can look at the sky and say, today it will rain, tomorrow it will not rain. Today will be a good day, the skies are like this. But they can never discern the days of the coming of the Son of Man. They can discern. You can't see. The Bible told us the day of the Lord shall come as a snare to all of them who don't believe. He shall come like a snare. He shall come like a thief. Like a thief. But the Bible tells us for us for us it shall not be like that. Let me tell you something. Jesus will come like a thief. Yes, that's, that's true. But can I shock you with something? To the believers, he shall not come like a thief. He shall not come as a thief to us. Let me tell you, for sure, he shall not come as a thief to us. The Bible tells us very much that uh, in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, listen to this, he shall not come to us as a thief. <laughs> listen to this. The Bible says, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1, it says, But the times and the season, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, a travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. They shall not escape. The day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. When they are saying peace and safety, oh, we are peaceful now. Everything is fine, it's going on well now. <laughs> when people are saying it's peaceful now, you know, we have just finished this three years from 2019. We have just finished uh, taking the abomination within ourselves. We already have it now. What they are saying now is peaceful. We have already had this. I had my two, my three, my four. You know what I'm talking about. You just had your abomination of desolation. My friends, <laughs> you're doomed. For when you say peace and safety, now we can relax. Then sudden destruction comes upon them. It's travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But then it gives us hope, those who are of the side of God, those who are believers, it tells us the same book, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 4. It tells us, But you, brethren, you believers, you are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Because we can see, we can open our eyes and we see, we can see the signs that day shall not come unto us as a thief in the night. For you are all children of light and the children of the day. 
we are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Are you watching, my friends? Are you watching? Are you watching the day of the Lord coming? Are you watching the end of days coming? Judgment of God is coming. God's judgment is coming. Are you watching? Are you aware, my friends, that this day is coming? Are you aware that the end of time is upon us? It is upon us. And that day shall come upon every person in the world like a snare. Nobody will be ready. But for those who are believers, they shall know. They shall see it because we are not of darkness but you have light. The Bible tells us here. Therefore let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober. Putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet the hope of salvation we should be sober watching upon the day of the Lord because we know that day is upon us that day is upon us it's just a matter of time you'll not even be able to open a Bible it will not be any time Jesus loves you Jesus loves you he cares for you he died for you and there's no other way, there's no other salvation but by Jesus Christ. He's the first and the last. And we know very well, the Bible tells us in, chapter, in verse 9, For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by Jesus Christ. God has not appointed us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. My friends, it's upon time that we gave ourselves to Christ. He died for us. He knows us more than we know ourselves. He cares for us. And is calling us this day so that we could be able to be saved. If you don't want to be saved, the choice is yours. The choice is yours, my friends. You shall remember this voice calling you to be saved. But then at the end of the day, you loved yourself more. You loved your lifestyle. You loved your earthly things. You loved your lifestyles. You loved everything about yourself. You loved your flesh. But then you never believed. The day of the Lord is upon us. And all we need to do is believe. And if you believe, you shall be saved. The Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. You and your household. All you need to do is believe, my friends. And since I've, talking, I've uh, talked about believing, all you need to do, you just need to understand five things. One, to understand that you're a sinner and accept that you're a sinner. The second thing, you need, you need to hear the gospel. How Jesus died for your sins, who was buried and rose again. After you hear the gospel, the third thing is to understand the gospel. Why Jesus had to die? Because you could not save yourself. That's the reason. And your blood was corrupted. You could not atone for anything. And after you hear and you understand, all you need to do is believe. Put it in your hearts. We believe from the hearts. We don't believe from our minds. We believe from our hearts. Because believing from your mind, it will evaporate. But God tells us, he wants us to believe from our hearts. And after you believe, all you need to do is just confess what you have believed. Because the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Out of what is full in your heart, then you'll be able to speak. If the truth of God is in your heart, then you'll be able to speak. You'll be able to say for sure, God, I know you died for my sins. I know for sure you died for my sins. You are buried and rose again. And I know and I believe, and you shall be saved. For those who are still pushing on religion and other things, let me tell you, the time is up. We don't have much time. All that we have is a few days to speak to you because Jesus loves you. He cares for you more than you could ever imagine. 
Jesus loves you more than you could ever imagine. And that's why we are here, sent by the compassion of God to come and speak to you so that you could be able to be saved. You're going through a lot, but God has hope for you. There's a life coming and Jesus loves you. He cares for you and he's coming once again. My friends, if you've heard that word and you, you've decided for sure, I just want to believe in this Jesus. All you need to do is agree and understand it from your heart and agree with yourself. I don't know you, you don't know me. I don't really care much to know your name or anything if you want to say hi to me, fine, that's, that's okay. But it's not, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to save your souls, to help you get, be, be able to know the truth and be able to be saved. So it's not about who is watching me or who is saying this or who is saying that, or this pastor wants to know. No, I, do, I don't want to know you. You, I just want you to be known by God and you to know God. So if you've believed, if you've understood from your heart, you've known what the gospel is all about, you've understood it from your heart, and all you need to do is confess. And I want us to confess together. Wherever you are, if you have understood this gospel, I want us to confess together and tell God what we have believed. And voila, I tell you, you shall be a new creature, new creation, born of God. So if you believe all that, wherever you are, I won't tell anyone to come here.